So, I made this little charger, okay? So, I just, and I love how it turned out, y'all. All right, so we're just going to take a charger. I already have one painted here, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Now, let me tell you this. Okay, I'm using White Swan. Okay, White Swan is just a great, uh, it's a great white for, for the rice paper, okay? So, the rice paper I got at Hobby Lobby in a roll, okay? It's in a roll. So, let me show you, tell you how I did this first. Okay, so it has, this is the rice paper side. It's a little textury, and then there's a smooth side, okay? Oh, shoot. And I just got paint on that. So let me move this off to the side. But anyway, here's the three that I'm going to try to use today. Okay. Okay, so this is what you do. So I just designed a few things I like. These are, this is the Lily of the Valley flower. So I did a couple of those. Um, and then I printed out, I thought this was pretty too. But anyway, let's just get started. Okay. So again, I'm taking a Dollar Tree charger. Now, I love these, again, because they're a little more thicker, heavy-duty. They're plastic. They have texture. They paint better. So I'm going to just go ahead and give it a coat of White Swan, okay? And you're going to give it probably, I've given them two, maybe three coats. It just depends, okay? Here's one that was the shiny silver one. You can tell because it has those little beaded trims on there. And look how smooth that is. That's really smooth. And then here again is the wood grain one. So let's, let's just work on this one because this one that I've already done is the wood grain. Okay, it's the wood grain. I just, I didn't go all the way through. All right, so again, for your design, Okay, so designing these things. All right, so you take just regular printer paper, okay? And then you take your rice paper, again from Hobby Lobby. All right, so I take just white printer paper and I will spray it with this stuff, okay? Easy tack. I just give it just a light spray. You just want it... The purpose of this is to be able to keep, because your rice paper is thin, you want it to be able to go through your printer, okay? So you're going to, um, you know, it's rolled up on the rice paper side, so you're going to want to turn it over. You're going to spray, it's just going to be regular white paper, okay? You're just going to spray it, and then you're going to stick it down and glue it to your rice paper, all right? And then you're just going to cut around it. And that's all you're doing. You're going to cut around it. Your rice paper side will be what you print on out of the printer. Okay? And it just it just gives it weight to um, come through the printer is all. All right. So now once you get your um, cut out your sheet, you're going to, you know, pull up a picture on the printer on your computer and you're going to print it and it's just going to come out like this and you're going to um, separate it. Now, before I do that, let me tell you, I also sprayed this on it because the one one thing that prohibits people from doing their own transfers, just printing out paper like this, is because the ink in an inkjet printer tends to bleed. Okay, so I sprayed this on here. Now, I did not spray it on the one I finished because I was going to test to see. I did not spray it on that one, but I did heat set it with the heat gun, and I'll do that one as well. But I took all three of these outside, gave them a light spray, let them dry, and this is what I'm dealing with. And so I'm going to, now you're going to separate your rice paper from your printer paper. So you can decoupage with it. Hopefully I won't rip it. Because it, you know, it's thin, but it's not thin like 
tissue, like, you know, napkins. It's not that thin. Now, you probably, um, well, I'm not going to say that. All right. So, see, here was just a plain sheet of printer paper. All right. And so, now, here's what we're going to decoupage, right? Now, I'm going to use this. It's cute. I just think that's so pretty. Let me try to center it. It does roll up on you, so it's a little irritating to try to. Now, my other one, I went right inside of this flat area, but for this one, I think I'm going to try to hit it more on the edge up here. And I'm trying to. Um, let me see how it's dried because I can see, well, you know what? I really can't see it anymore. I used to could see the little line, but now I can't. Now I can't. Okay, so what I did to make my little circle, actually, let me see. I got a paintbrush, I think. I just kind of went around the edge here. And you don't have to get it exact. Put this down. It doesn't matter because it's a circle, right? All right. So let's do that. Now I'm going to use DIY liquid patina. What I use for uh, decoupaging with. And I'm using a little chip brush because, um, well, really because it's really soft on the edges. And so when I decoupage on top of the napkin, I wanted. I wanted to make sure I was gentle and not, um, and didn't rub hard like a paintbrush. I feel like would rub it hard, and I was afraid it would bleed. So I've been trying to do things with about the bleeding. Now you see that other one did not bleed, so I was excited about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Y'all know. Try to try to center it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna wipe it down. And I got a speck of gold right there. All right. Okay. Now what I am gonna do, I did spray it like I said, but the other one I heat set it. I heat set. I mean I. I think I heat set it. That's what I tried to do. So I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna put it on there for a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to heat set the printer ink by doing that. Now this says to um, I think it said to do like you could do several uh, coats. Let's see. It dries in 10 to 15 minutes. Recoat any time. Uh, spray. Apply multiple thin coats to, uh, to avoid runs and drips. I did one coat. I sprayed it one time. Okay. Now, okay, so let me get the liquid patina. Cover up my brush real quick. Chip brush, chip brush. All right, here we go. Now I'm just going to brush my decoupage on. And I can tell I didn't get that. I didn't even cut that too, too straight. But it doesn't matter because I can't even see it. Now, I mean, I can't see it on the one I finished. So I'm just going to lightly, first, I'm going to lightly just brush on this. And again, this chip brush is really soft on the edges. So I'm, I'm barely you know, rubbing over that ink. And like I said, I heat set it and I did spray the ink setting stuff on there anyway, but I still want to be careful. 
And if you don't have a printer and you want, you know, you want some good, you want a, a really good print, you can always uh, send this to your local, like, Staples or I think even Walmart will do it. But it's a good way to do your own little, you know, own little design. So I just printed out uh, several of these Lily of the Valley ones. And you could have a set of six. So you could do two of each, you know, design. You could do one of each design. Or six of each, one design or something like that. Okay. So... I hate I got that speck of gold on there. I should have used another one. All right, so I think I've got it all covered. So now I'm gonna take plastic wrap, okay? Now the saran wrap helps with the wrinkles. I know a lot of people are using that little iron, but uh, this to me, I, I, I just use this method. So I'm just gonna tap it down for a little bit. Then I'm gonna take my brayer, okay? Just kinda, kinda start in the center, coming out. Okay, you see how it pushes all that right there? So I'm just gonna do that all around. You could use a rolling pin or, you know, credit card, whatever you have that'll just, even a paint roller, sponge roller. Okay, now I'm just gonna take my little rubber thing here and kind of smooth out where it's, uh, where the brayer just kind of, you know, pushed it all up against this right here. Just gonna keep smoothing it out right there. You could also paint these. You know, I was talking about the Lily of the Valley China. Theirs looks like this, but the leaves are a bright green. It's gorgeous. So you could, Absolutely, you could even use our new um, our new powders, those making powders, and do like a watercolor. If I have one, uh, well, I don't even have my making powders down here. You could also just use the paint as well and water it down and do like a watercolor. See how this is pushing all this uh, patina up here? So then I can just kind of I'm just, I'm just getting the wrinkles out. A lot of people like the wrinkles in the decoupage, you know, in your napkin or whatever. And some, if you are adding like a, some kind of wax or something on top, that, uh, that looks gorgeous. But I, I'm not one that likes the, you know, I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, if it's vintage something, of course, but I didn't want it in this, okay? I'm trying to make these look like Dior china plates, okay? So, we can't have wrinkles. <laughs> All right, so I think this is good. Look at that. Not a wrinkle in sight. Don't you wish you could do this to your face? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> we're all going to be going to bed with... Saran wrap on our face and all right, so now I'm just gonna go back over Because your your saran wrap takes up some of that uh, stuff And then you're just gonna let that dry You're just gonna let that dry Okay, so now once you're done and it's dry. I think this is dry enough We're gonna do like Delissa said and add some gold Okay, so this is the new DIY, well, it's part of the, this is the new gilding, it's gilding wax. Okay, so to me, it's it's just like the liquid patina if you mix it with some clear wax, okay? That's what it's like. So, I honestly, I think, now, I tried both, and they're real, so similar. But, so I'm just going to stick this in here. I wish it was more like a paint, you know, because this is really transparent patina. Like the copper, uh, the pennies from heaven is more of like a paint. This, I think I'm going to have to do several uh, coats. Uh-oh. Let's see, I probably want to just, you would, I would do that. I would probably do that at this point. 
okay? So you've decoupaged on top, okay? So at this point is where, let's just try one, y'all. Why not? Let me find a green. All right, I'm gonna use Salty Kiss because this is, this is what reminds me of that Dior. Okay, this color right here, I think it is. It's, yes, it does look like it. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take a little paintbrush. Let me find a, I want a little one, because I'm just, think. I think I just wanna do those leaves. All right, and I need some water. So I'm just gonna spray some water right there and just get this little art brush wet, dab it in the green. Okay. Just, you do wanna make sure this is probably dry. Now you could use the new making powders as well and do this. All right, so now after this, we are going to um, see if we can add, let's see, I'm going to just try my finger maybe. That may be the easiest way. Usually my finger is just a little too fat to do this, but um, this wasn't doing it very well. So let's see, I had, I had already started right here. Honestly, it's not um, as dark as I would like it. So, you're probably going to have to do a couple of runs with it. I'll just stick it right in there. I'm afraid, you know, it's just going to... I just want it on the edges. Maybe I just need to do a little wider. I can't see that anyway, that little thin line. So let's just fatten up that a little bit. Can y'all see that coming on here? Okay, I'm going to try this other finger. I'm not having uh, a lot of control with that little finger. So this is not... Uh, like I said, you'll have to do probably a couple of swipes. I may try the, um, I may try liquid patina. Let's see if that's a little, uh, better. So what do y'all think? Do you like the gold on there or do you like it without the gold? Do you like it painted? Do you like it just black and white? All right, so again, this is the liquid patina. I mean, well, it's golden ticket. But it's a liquid patina, so I'm just going to try to maybe a little faster. We do, I do love that pop of color as well, but just wait till we put the top coat on there. You know how DIY dries a lot lighter. So once you top coat it, it's actually going to even be brighter. So I'm going to see if I can find a, I'm almost out of my chip brushes. I wanted to use a chip brush. Okay, so let me stir this up a little bit. So this is the big top that I'm using now. It is our top coat. It's like a polycrylic water-based but it is shinier so let's see how it does okay 
I hope though, let me make sure because you know this paint reactivates with any moisture. So if I were to do that hard and the green could just smear right off. Okay, so let's just see if I can do it without smearing it. It needs to dry, so at home y'all let it dry. Just be very gentle. goes for wax or anything, okay? Any liquid moisture over paint. This is going to make the whole thing shinier. So you could still, if you don't want it shiny, you could use the uh, liquid patina that I used originally. You could just use that, okay? It just would be a more of a matte finish instead of a glossy, shiny finish. So it all depends on what you like. And again, this little chip brush is good because it's soft and, I don't know. Your norm, you might have some brush strokes, but no need to overwork it, like I'm probably doing. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think y'all can see. See how it's, this is going to be, of course, it's wet, but it's going to be shinier. Okay. So, I love that. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Here's the other one. Um, so, I could... You know, I could paint these leaves. I, I don't know. I like it. I like it both ways. <clears throat> painted and non-painted. All right, guys. Okay, I was looking off the wrong camera. So, I hope this has inspired you to try something a little new. I was going to see if I could um, hold it up because I don't. They like us to go horizontal. <laughs> Is this working right? Okay. All right. So, let me know what you think. Okay, let me know what you think about this. Is it kind of... Like, I don't know, poo-poo. I had fun with it. I definitely had fun with it. And when I finish, I will post um, pictures of them. But you could print out all kind of things. So anyway, y'all, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you all next week. Okay, bye.